So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Three Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So WBC heavyweight champion John A. Wilder will be facing dangerous undefeated Cuban heavyweight Lewis King Kong Ortiz on November the 4th um, for the WBC heavyweight title. Obviously he'll be defending his title against Ortiz who will be in his first world title fight. And 2017 just keeps getting better and better. Obviously we've had Anthony Joshua and Klitschko, Ward Kovalev too, um, Canelo and Golovkin this past weekend on December the 9th. We've got um, Lomachenko versus Rigandau. And now we've got um, Wilder and Ortiz. Like 2017 just keeps getting better for the big fights. And it's been a very, very good year for boxing. So, yeah, this fight, a lot of people are saying that this is it. This is when Deontay Wilder is going to lose his title. That the hype train will be over. And that Lewis Ortiz will school him and will knock him out. But Deontay Wilder, even though technically he isn't the greatest fighter. And he does have some flaws. He is a good fighter with the things that he does. Like the way he can time his big right hand like that is a skill in its own and the way that he lands that right hand it's very effective and he's a very athletic guy Deontay Wilder he's got quick feet he's got good hand speed so I think he could give Luis Ortiz problems so this fight isn't a foregone conclusion don't get me wrong Luis Ortiz is a very school fighter um, he's got that slick kind of Cuban style mixed with the heavy power so he is very dangerous but I think after six or seven rounds Luis Ortiz starts to tire a little bit, his gas tank starts to run a bit low, and Johnny Wilder might have to try and keep um, Luis Ortiz off him for half the fight, and then try and get into it in the second half of the fight, and then try and take Luis Ortiz out in the second half of the fight. If Luis Ortiz wants to win the World Heavyweight title, I think he'll have to do it quickly, he'll have to do it in the first six rounds. That's what I'm predicting, and I think he should go all out, I think he should go and just go for it at the end of the day because um he is what 38 years old that's what he says he is on paper i think he's in his early 40s in my opinion Luis ortiz so this could be his only opportunity at a world title because if he loses then i don't know if he'll get another crack at a world title quickly and time is ticking with his age and how long his career will go on for so it'll be very interesting to see how Luis ortiz performs in this fight Hopefully, he'll just go out and try and make it a great fight and try and get the victory against John A. Wilder. But John A. Wilder, um, fantastic with that right hand, precision with the right hand when he lands it. Like we've seen him with the highlight knockouts over guys like Eric Molina and Artis Spilcott. And um, who else is he KO with that big right hand bad letter? Um, Kelvin Price before Audley Harrison. Like we've seen him knock guys flat with that um, big right hand. And people have been saying. The opposition he's been fighting as, WB, as WBC heavyweight champion hasn't been the best. But at the end of the day, he's been fighting guys in the top 15 with the WBC. Guys like Johan de Wopo, um, Chris Ariola. I don't think he should have fought him because Ariola is way over the hill. Guys like Eric Molina, who were decent contenders. And Gerald Washington. But he hasn't had that super fight. But now he's getting a big fight here against Luis Ortiz. So John A. Wilder will have to try and prove what he's been saying all along, that he is the best heavyweight on the planet and that he's ready to take guys out like Anthony Joshua and Josie Parker because if he knocks Lewis Ortiz out in spectacular fashion, that is a statement to the other heavyweight champions out there. So I'm looking forward to this fight on November the 4th. Good heavyweight boxing. You can't beat a good heavyweight scrap and that's what we're getting on November the 4th. So yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's speed boxing.